Imagine the most epic girl power crew put together. And no, I'm not talking about the Spice Girls or Taylor Swift's Girl Squad. I'm talking about some of the biggest names in Hollywood starring side by side in Ocean's 8. Take a look at the poster. I have 12 things you need to know about the all-female cast of Ocean's 8 coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Azalea Hart. How excited are you for this movie? I would have never thought to put these eight women together, but somebody did, and it's gonna be epic. Talk about girl power. I just wanna hold down a job, make some friends. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. That way you never miss when I upload a new one. Let's get into it, starting with what this movie is all about. Good afternoon, Miss Ocean. As you know, parole is a privilege. The movie is all about Sandra Bullock's character, Debbie, who is plotting to do a heist at New York's annual Met Gala. But first, she must assemble the perfect crew. Since it's taking place at one of the hottest and most high fashion events of the year, it's safe to say that there will definitely be some celebrity cameos. Kim Kardashian, Kendall Jenner, Zayn Malik, Katie Holmes, Haley Baldwin, and Olivia Munn will all make appearances, as do several prominent designers like Alexander Wang and Tommy Hilfiger. And of course, Anna Wintour herself will also be appearing in the film because it wouldn't be the Met Gala without Anna Wintour. The movie comes out on June 8, 2018. Ocean's 8 is directed by Gary Ross who also directed Hunger Games. It's still unknown if George Clooney will be in the movie alongside Sandra Bullock as her brother, but he will be producing the film. It's not completely an all-female cast though, although no male names were mentioned in the poster. Matt Damon is back as well. If you're a fan of the Ocean's franchise, then you know Matt starred in Ocean's 11, 12, and 13, so it's not a surprise that he'll be reprising his role as Linus Caldwell in Ocean's 8. Richard Armitage is the other male that is blessed to join the cast and work alongside this entourage of leading ladies. You may know him from The Hobbit. He recalled a night shooting with the team at the Metropolitan Museum of Art where the entire cast sat in a holding room and the leading ladies just sat and sang songs together. He said it was a moment where he looked around and wanted to pinch himself. Is this real? Next up, I have all eight women. What's so cool to hear is that these women pretty much became besties on set. Kate Blanchett has been very, very busy these past couple of years. Not only will she be starring in Ocean's 8 in 2018, but she was in three movies this year, including Thor, and some major motion pictures in 2018, including The Jungle Book as Ka, How to Train a Dragon as Valka, and of course, Ocean's 8. Aquafina, aka Nora Loom, has also joined the cast. If you don't know who she is, you're not alone. But she shot to fame in 2012 when her comedic rap video went viral on YouTube when she was 19. Since then, you've seen her in Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising, as one of the Capitol new sisters or when she co-hosted MTV's Girl Code Live. This is probably the greatest contribution that Asian people have given the United States in a very long time. Asian people love this She's a comedian and a rapper and she's damn good at doing both. Sarah Polson got major TV time when starring in People vs. OJ Simpson when she portrayed real life prosecutor Marcia Clark. She won an Emmy, Critics' Choice Television Award, Actors Guild Award, TCA Award, and a Golden Globe for Outstanding Lead Actress. She was also named one of the top 100 most influential people of the year by Time Magazine. Of course, we can't leave out her epic work in American Horror Story. People think this is a wig, it, it, it ain't. Oh wow. That's, that's my hair. Oh wow, I definitely and, um, thought it was a wig. Yeah, 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 I had to basically shave it off when it was over because <laughs> it was so damaged. Helena Bonham Carter is one of the most versatile actresses of our time, and I'm so excited to see her in this movie. You've seen her as Bellatrix the Strange in Harry Potter, Mrs. Lovett in Sweeney Todd, the Red Queen in Alice in Wonderland, Open your head! the Fairy Godmother in Cinderella, better. My fairy godmother. Mrs. Bucket in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and so many other roles. She'll be portraying Rose in Ocean's 8. A princess. She's not plain Jane turned princess this time. She is a full on powerful woman in Ocean's 8. This is Anne Hathaway. Apparently many have confused her for George Clooney's wife, Amal Clooney, in the new promotional poster for the movie. But she takes it as a major compliment and has said that she hopes to become half the woman she is. You've seen Anne in movies like The Devil Wears Prada. Are you wearing the, Ch the Chanel boots? Yeah, I am. The Princess Diaries, of course, Ella Enchanted, Bride Wars, and many other blockbuster hits. Mindy Kaling is a super famous and super hilarious comedian, but she said working on this movie, she's never felt less famous. With that group of women, I've never felt so unfamous in my life. Yes. Like, I thought I was pretty cool. I have my own show, and there people think I'm 
Sandra Bullock's assistant. Sure. And she has her own show, The Mindy Project, and has also starred in The Office as Kelly Kapoor. Sandra Bullock is the star of Ocean's Age. She plays Debbie Ocean, the sister of the heist leader in the other Ocean movies, George Clooney's character, Danny Ocean. Filming in 2017 also held some significance, as Time Magazine has noted that this is the year of silence breakers. Sandra Bullock talked about being in an all-female film in a year when women have exposed the dark side of Hollywood. She said, I don't even want to touch on that other subject, but women are now taking care of each other. We all were like, okay, let's just take care of each other for these six months and relish this opportunity we're being given. But we don't want it to be just for women. This is not man-hating. We love the men. There's men in this movie, we love them, but this one heist needs women. What's your name? Name Wall. What's your real name? Able. And of course, last but not least, my girl Riri. She is gonna be the reason that I'm gonna check out this movie. I can't lie. She is one of the biggest international pop stars in the world, but not only that, she's from the Caribbean, she's Bayesian, and she loves playing mass. Like, hello, that's more than enough for me. Plus, I was like this close to Rihanna in Barbados at a party. She's a fashion icon, an epic vocalist, a dancer, pretty much an all-around mogul. She has a few acting gigs under her belt as well, including her work in Battleship in 2012, Home in 2015, Let's have some tunage. And her role in Bates Motel, just to name a few. Alright guys, that's it for this list. 12 things that you need to know about the cast of Ocean's 8. Are you looking forward to this girl power movie? Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe by clicking right here. You can watch some more episodes right on over here. And I'll see you next time.